Hey guys, Dorx here, and welcome back to another video. I actually prepared a script for this one, so you know it's gonna be good. Let me actually, like, oh, by the way, um, I moved into a different dorm. It's not at all clean, so say hello to the door that's behind me. <laughs> I'm also in a chair. <clears throat> so, I do want to apologize right out of the gate. If you think this will be a fun Let's Play video or another vlog of why I haven't updated anything. So, if that's what you're looking for, go ahead and close the video now, because this isn't going to be that. A lot of bad things have happened this past weekend. Now, I'm not going to go into any details about the individual occurrences. I'm just going to give you some information, because I can't change your opinions about what you've already seen. All I can do is guide you to help you what you might see in the future in a different light. The terms hashtag Black Lives Matter was created after the death of Trayvon Martin. However, since, it's become a calling card and a rallying card all over the country. It's becoming more than that, though. It's, it's creating a division between Americans. It's creating havoc all over the country. The hashtag in itself is racist and awful. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm a privileged white male sitting behind a computer screen reading from a script. However, let me read you something real quick. Black Lives Matter is an ideological and political intervention in a world where black lives are systematically and intentionally targeted for demise. This is straight from the Black Lives Matter website. Systematically and intentionally. I'm going to let that sink in for a minute. Because to me, that's a horrifying thought. The idea that police officers are hunting down African Americans and killing them it scares me. But that's not the case. You see, I won't deny the fact that racism is a factor in the police departments across the nation. That's a fact. However, they excuse their actions and make stupid excuses for the racial discrimination. On the opposite end of that, the Las Vegas the police uh, excuse me. The Las Vegas Police Department, after having one of these incidents a while back, admitted to the press that racism might have been a factor. Might have been. Never confirmed it, never denied it. They just said it might have been. However, since then, they completely changed the way they teach their police academy. And these incidents have drastically gone down. So if Las Vegas can do it, why can't the rest of America? <clears throat> because it's in our nature to lie for our own protection. We lie because we are all human. I will repeat that. We are human. I didn't say white. I didn't say black. Latino. Asian. I didn't say cop or civilian. We are human. Speaking of lying. I know that all of you have Snapchat, meaning some of you have read CNN's articles on the incidents of this weekend. In fact, that's how I found out. <clears throat> However, there are a few things that come to mind. A few sayings, I should say. Never take anything at face value. Never read, and don't never believe everything you read on the internet, etc., etc. CNN is by far one of the two least trusted news sites in America, with Fox News being absolutely no better. The only difference between them is that they are backed by two different political parties. <clears throat> you guys know all this. What I want you to do, I want to urge you to do something right now, though. Go look at the Washington Post, or any other newspaper that isn't so strongly backed by one political party. Look for facts, statistics. Close the video if you have to. I don't care. I, w I want y'all to do this. Now tell me you haven't come back with some new information. <clears throat> back to the point. We need to learn how to break down the barriers that divide us. If racism is the problem, then take a minute. Look at your situation and say, I'm not going to do this anymore. Stick to it. Teach your children not to be racist. It's, it, the only way it can spread is if we let it. If we teach our kids to do this, if we allow ourselves to be corrupted by 
the society around us, basically. We have the power to change the world. All we have to do is put our energy into something productive. Not protesting when we know we're going to get arrested. Not resorting to violence when you don't get noticed. Violence only leads to more violence. Only when we take the path of peace can we open a dialogue and resolve the situation. That goes for everyone. It's not a cop philosophy. It's not a black one. It's not a white one. It's a human one. Let me give you a prime example of what I mean. A friend of mine, who was black and who will remain unnamed, got pulled over the other night. Now, he was totally in the wrong. He was exhausted, he didn't notice he ran through a stoplight, and the police pulled him over. Cop asked him what happened. My friend explained, told the truth. Didn't get an attitude or panic because it was a cop. The cop then called for two other people, two other police officers, to come back him up. They showed up. First cop drove my friend home, while the other two followed. It wasn't for a camera. It wasn't to be on the news. It was the right thing to do. Now on the flip side, one of my other friends, who will also go unnamed, was walking around with me late one night as we were playing Pokemon Go. Yes, I do play Pokemon Go. Ugh, that, that, that's a whole different story for a whole nother video. But uh, I saw a police officer and I was the one who wanted to skirt around him. My friend obviously didn't get the hint and proceeded to almost walk into the guy. And when we got closer, we realized he was playing Pokemon Go too. So seeing my friend immediately struck up a conversation. I mean, just like that. And uh, began telling him where he'd seen all these rare Pokemon. Then we talked about what we liked about the game. The conversation lasted for almost 30 minutes. And I have to say, it was fun. You see, police officers are people too. They have families. They have people who care about them. They have friends. They aren't these evil creatures to be feared or rebelled against. And African Americans aren't gun-wielding, police-killing gang members. They aren't stereotypes. Nobody is a perfect stereotype. If we could all learn to be a little bit nicer to each other, to care a little bit more instead of hate, the world would be an amazing place. I mean, I, I don't like using this reference, but think about Pokemon Go. It's brought so many different people together. Like, I've honestly made so many new friends out of this, people I would never even talk to. I, I've seen people, like, come out of their house for the first time in three years. My uncle's playing the game now, and he, he's coming out of his house. He, he hasn't, like, been socially active for almost a year. It's, it's amazing to see what people do. But, like, if, if that is what a video game can do, what one franchise can do, imagine if the entire world was, like, gathered around something like Pokemon Go. Well, it's another point. That's all I have to say. Just be kind to each other. White, black, police officer, civilian, it doesn't matter. Just... <clears throat> Just be nice. And, as always, you know, thank you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please, please share it with somebody. Let them know. Spread this message of peace, not hate. And, my name has been Skolex. You guys have been awesome. And, peace out.